managing multiple just turns into a complete mess. People messaging us on Facebook, probably on Instagram as well. We get text messages, we get phone calls, and then we have emails. Now, one mailbox is hard enough. We already have all of those channels that we have to manage. If you want to add multiple mailboxes or multiple brands into the mix, you're just going to make your life harder. I have many businesses and I'm using separate Google workspaces. How can I send and receive emails from one account, my primary account? Okay, that's a great question. So my recommendation would be to set up receiving and sending from a single Gmail account. You would call that your primary account. And from your alternative account, you would set up forwarding. What this looks like on the left hand side here, I'm going to have business number one. And let's say it's dot com. You know, it could also be just domain number one. And then I'm going to have over here business number two. And let's say that's dot Asia, right? Cool. And that's going to be business or mailbox number two. Now, I would recommend that you set one of those as your primary. You choose one of them to be your main or your primary mailbox. And for that reason, as you don't want to have too many mailboxes, it's hard enough to manage one email address and one mailbox let alone if you have multiple businesses or multiple brands, managing multiple just turns into a complete mess. Now, I understand that many entrepreneurs are highly creative. Some are on neurodivergent spectrums where we probably don't just stay with one thing and we probably want to jump towards lots of different projects and different businesses and we end up with different email addresses here and there and different brands that we're attached to. I totally get it. If you can filter them into one mailbox, it's going to make your life way easier because you're not constantly flipping and changing, which is very unproductive. And you won't feel that sense of overwhelm of having to jump between different places to check messages. It's already hard enough in our modern age to manage people messaging us on Facebook, probably on Instagram as well. We get text messages, we get phone calls, and then we have emails. Now, one mailbox is hard enough. We already have all of those channels that we have to manage. If you want to add multiple mailboxes or multiple brands into the mix, you're just going to make your life harder. So here's how we solve it. So you choose one of those to be your main mailbox, right? And what I would then do is forward emails from this additional mailbox over to here, right? So an email comes in to the mailbox and it's going to be forwarded over to the main mailbox. Now, how does forwarding work? Well, we do that inside our Google settings. So uh, you go to your Gmail inbox on the account that you wish to forward from. So that's this account here, the sending account. And we're gonna go into our settings and we're gonna forward. So you go to the forwarding menu. Now, if this doesn't work, you need to switch it on in the admin panel, but you go to the forwarding menu and you can see here, forward a copy of incoming mail to another mailbox. Now you're going to add forwarding address and you're going to add your second email address and you're going to set it up so you forward a copy of everything. Now my recommendation is that you leave a copy at least in the inbox. Maybe you would mark it as read just in case you need to go back to it. You do have the option to archive it like if you just don't want to even see it in that extra mailbox, you can send it to the archive. If you are new to the Google ecosystem, the archive is basically the place where all of your emails go inside your mailbox after they've been moved out of the inbox. So that's the first thing that you want to do there. If you go to your Gmail inbox and you can't see this menu, you can't see the option to forward emails, you may need to turn it on in the admin panel. So to do that, you would go to Gmail settings and automatic forwarding. So we have an option here to choose whether or not we allow people in our business to forward emails or not. And we want to make sure that that is switched to on and then you get access to this forwarding menu. Okay. So we've done that, we've created the forward. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to send from this email address as well, right? But we're using our main, that's the one that we're going to be logging into. So then we need to send the sending permission, we need to create sending permission to send from this email from this email. And then it's going to send our little email message off and into the world. So what we need to do here is in our main mailbox, we're going to configure the send settings inside of our Gmail, we're going to go to our settings, we're going to go to see all settings. And that's where we're going to go to accounts menu. 
and send mail as. Now, this is where you're gonna add your alternative email account. You're gonna set it up there. You will need to enter the settings like the password to be able to send from that account, but that's gonna allow you to send from that mailbox. Now, when you type this in and it's an alternative account, you're gonna to have to have the SMTP username and password. But the challenge with this is you have to have SMTP sending switched on. Now, here's where I'm getting technical. You need to be allowed to send via SMTP. And that needs to be switched on for this second account. So this is called SMTP sending. So how do we do that? Well, that's in the admin panel again. So let's search for SMTP. Allow per user outbound gateways. I believe this is the one. Allow users to send email through external SMTP server when configuring a from address outside your email address. Okay, that one needs to be switched on. But the second one, I believe, which also needs to be switched on is this one here, POP and IMAP access. I believe that also needs to be set up. Now, there's a third thing that you need to do, and we're getting very technical here, but that's okay. There's a third thing that you need to do. You need to go to your account, and this is on the account that you're sending from here, SMTP sending, right? And you need to create a special username and password for sending so you can be authorized to send because you can't just use your Google password in this menu. Google no longer allows you to just use your Google password if you're authenticating with a mail sending app. So if you're setting up a printer in your office, if you're setting up a website to send emails via your account, you need to actually set up a special password to be able to do this. And that is in our account. So what you wanna do is you wanna create a dedicated app password and the app password lets you have a individual generated password which will work for when you configure an SMTP sending address. From start to finish, you have one main mailbox that you're using, two completely separate workspace accounts. You've got emails coming in, passing through to the main mailbox. You're sending with a unique signature, with a unique email address, it's going back out, bouncing through the secondary account. So it's saved in the sent mail. You've got a copy of it in the secondary account as well, which is very handy. And then poof, it's going out to the internet. Now, as long as you've got these settings correct and you follow these instructions, you are good to go. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.